It has been the breeding ground for the future superstars of Monday Night Raw, of SmackDown Live. Ladies and gentlemen, this is NXT. Here comes the Bruiserweight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The Bruiserweight, Pete Dunn. Almost a, a sick, twisted pleasure that Dunn derives from the opportunity just to, just to hear his opponent scream and wail in pain. Well, Pete Dunne has earned the right to have a reputation that precedes him as one of the most feared superstars in all of WWE. The icy stare of Pete Dunne is unsettling because you know he's about to hit you in the mouth. And these people are going nuts! Yes! And his opponent from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. One of the biggest underdogs in WWE history. A true Cinderella story. Listen to this place. It's deafening. What? I said it's deafening. What? And Byron, I would say these guys look more than ready to start this match. So is this crowd, Michael, and justifiably so. This one's going to be simply amazing. The Bruiserweight peaked on, always ready for a fight such an Intense focus and drive in this young man. And then there's Daniel Bryan, who has never met an opponent he couldn't go toe to toe with. Daniel Bryan might get outclassed on size or experience from time to time, but he'll never be top for pure desire to win. He's in full control now. Daniel Bryan pulling out all the stops. He's in non stop attack mode. Not yet. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Daniel Bryan is a multi-time champion. Can that amount of experience be countered in the ring? You have to keep him from controlling the match and putting that veteran ring awareness to work. To be blunt, you have to overpower him. To that point, targeting his legs and core are going to strip Bryan of his speed. That'll keep him from using the strategies that won him so many accolades. He done so adept at punishing. Oh! Hammerlock. Uh oh, uh oh. So mean, so nasty. That describes the bruiser weight, Pete Dunn, to a T. And he's so young that it's scary how much of a naturally vindictive streak he has inside of him. Dunn is so dangerous. Fire. Triangle, the triangle's in. Triangle's in. Normally. Whoa, he, he works his way out. And it's Pete Dunn answering back. Showing no signs of defense here, guys.
What a shot. Cole Saxton, you talk about all the nastiness and venom Dunn has inside of him like it's a bad thing. If anything, that's what makes him so instantly likable. Uh, only you would think that's a good thing, Corey. But on the other hand, I would say that's part of what endeared him to the WWE Universe in the first place. So maybe you're actually on to something for once. Daniel Bryan with a slip reversal. Boom! Nice. Bang right the face. Oh, right to the throat. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. He's not looking so hot here, guys. And momentum is certainly not on his side right now. Look at this. Boom, nice. Really just laying it in. Pete Dunn just never relents. This is what he feeds off of. I have a strong feeling. For Kimura. Oh, the Kimura. Is it fully locked in? Normally it's Daniel Bryan making people submit, but it's the other way. Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. Oh, jeez, that could take you out. This might be big. German suplex. Daniel Bryan offering some American and Japanese flavor right here. I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep, either one can do it. Is that enough for the win? Frustration has to be mounting as he kicks out yet again. What grace! Float over into the DDT! Going for the oh, down to the next box. Daniel Bryan is not looking so good here. He's done with the victory. Big win for the Bruiser Wake. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win of that young man's career. It's hard not to agree with you, Cole. It was an incredible victory. Yeah, I mean a hard-fought matchup. And that's a great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. Gotta love it. Bad doesn't even begin to describe the blood between these superstars. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. Oh, man. Oh, bridging package power bomb. Uh oh, sunset. Flip. This could be huge. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. Was this one a rule of no contest? This is the case of a referee not understanding the responsibility that goes along with having so much power. Here we go. Match.
matchup's going to be a good one. Superstar ready for action. Here comes his opponent, wasting little time to start things off. There's the double leg takedown and the big right hands. Here we go. This thing's breaking down before it even gets started. Chaos ensuing here. Incredible. With his never quit, never surrender attitude, Finn Balor is a superstar who is always ready to fight. Usually making a quiet home in the darkness, Aleister Black only rises to compete. Now the Dutch Destroyer might emerge out of the darkness just long enough to knock someone's head off. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency, you have to give them that. <laughs> oh, that'll make your legs numb. Aleister Black just almost knocked him out. Ouch. Finn Balor has wrestled all over the world, honed his skills in so many styles. With that kind of experience, what is the strategy to beat him in this type of match? First things first, you cannot let Balor get any momentum. If he gets that momentum, this match could be over for his opponent before he even knows what hit him. You've got to ground this man, which is certainly no easy task. Ooh, what impact. Using the ropes. Bam! Springboard roundhouse. Good night. Ah, look at this. Oh, God, that hurt. Finn Balor starting to stumble now. He's getting beaten up out there, but staying strong. Oh, man, right to the neck. That's how you wear down your opponent. Going for the home run. Here we go. Somebody's got hops. See what you're made of. And Finn Balor is really taking a pounding. I don't know how much more Finn Balor has left. I'm not sure how he's even stuck. Black mm. mass. It's over. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. Black with the W. What a victory. Put it in the book. What? Back in from the floor. I think business is about to pick up. Black measuring his foe. Don't turn around. Oh, and a knee to the face. Black toying with a fallen opponent. Black mass. It's over. This young man here is an incredible talent. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And he scored the NXT Championship. Introducing the challenger from Tampa, Florida, 
weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. You know, Roderick Strong really didn't find much success here in uh, NXT until he joined the Undisputed Era. Introducing the champion from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds. He is the NXT champion, Tommaso Ciampa. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love him. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. this? Well, I think it's about to be a highlight reel. Oh, we knew this could happen. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. The path to the NXT Championship has led us to this. Another highly anticipated match. A lot of hype surrounding this one, Corey. The most hardcore fans always know they'll get their money's worth when it comes to matches involving the NXT Championship. It's going to be a ruckus crowd. These men should enjoy the moment, but also can't get lost in it. Emotions always ride high in these matches. Being able to tune out the noise and remain laser-focused could be the difference maker. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Double underhook suplex. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Nicely done. Agonizing hammerlock into the... Whoa, strong able to avoid damage. Ooh, well measured. Tommaso Ciampa is a maniacal, vicious, and downright dangerous superstar. But he always has a target on his body in the form of his surgically repaired right knee. Wow. Saxton, I'm impressed. Suggesting Champa's opponent take a shortcut to victory. Uh, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that anyone who's in the ring with Champa should be aware of his weakness. Because there's no doubt he's aware of theirs and will exploit them at any moment. Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. Whack! Michael, that gives me meaning to have a seat. the kidneys. Oh, oh, a kick right to the gut. Agonizing hammerlock into the back suplex. Whoa, strong able to avoid damage. Strong with the offense. Impressive. Larian. Guys, we're about to single Tomasa Champa in quite a bind. Yeah, he's being torn apart in there. Here it comes, he's got him. This could be it! Gonna see a new champ with a championship on the line! Two, three, four! Yeah, he did it! Roderick Strong is the new champ! Whoa! 
what a moment. Here is your winner and the new NXT champion, Roderick Strong. The referee's three count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. I don't know who's more surprised to see the champion go down.